I just don't get it. Frank Tofano recently stated that he doesn't want to do the carnivore diet anymore because of various health issues, such as high levels of iron, fatty liver, but then he proceeds to do what carnivores eat in a day video. How long does he plan to poison himself? So off topic, but I'm actually kind of digging that man bun. That makes it a perfect day for a raw carnivore day of eating. Today, I welcome all of you raw tards uh, to the sacred ritual of not cooking your food. Uh, so it's gonna be a really simple meal today. I'm just gonna have some skirt steak, some raw honey, uh, some various supplements to fill in the downfalls of the carnivore diet. Downfalls of the carnivore diet. And right now, so I'm trying to do 400 to 600 milligrams of magnesium per day. Uh, I will get a magnesium supplement for you guys soon, hopefully. So I'll usually do three or four of these, maybe even five with my first meal. Holy moly, that is a lot of supplements. And I swear, these carnivores are always coming at vegans being like, you live off supplements. But then even Frank himself is admitting that the carnivore diet does have some downfalls. And as you can plainly see, he's literally taking four to five vitamins a day or per meal. You have to call out the hypocrisy when it happens. For some reason, my camera thinks the meat on my plate is my face. And I, I like to think I'm a little prettier than that. Just raw meat itself the palatability of it really tells us what we're meant to consume as humans. You know, what else can you take out of nature in its natural raw state that is tasty, calorically dense, has a pleasant texture, and of course, high in vitamins and minerals. So let's try some of this uh, mustard soy concoction. I love how he completely contradicted himself. Mm, raw meat is so natural in its original raw form and it tastes so great. Then why is he dipping it in soy sauce and mustard? Again, this is so hypocritical and it needs to be called out. In my last video, I discussed how people don't necessarily crave meat, but the way that it is prepared and flavored. Daphne Reloaded was able to devour an entire chicken because it had lemon peppering. The same way Frank Tofano can only stomach raw meat with soy sauce and mustard. The Japanese call this umami. And no, it's not spiritual woohoo. Certain foods contain glutamates, which all humans find pleasant. One of those foods is <laughs> soy sauce. I'm just gonna sit here and have a couple tablespoons. I want to have at least a couple tablespoons to uh to get some energy in carb up carb up carb up carb up the carnivore community used to demonize all carbs, sugars, and plant foods. However, I recently have been noticing them all confessing the need to eat carbs. Even Michaela Peterson recently admitted to wanting to include some plant foods back into her diet, particularly apples. And on that note, I do think an apple is a much better choice versus eating spoonfuls of honey. And now here we are at one in the morning. So. As much as I wanted to keep this like genuinely raw, uh, I'm gonna show you guys a recipe tonight, uh, beef tataki, which is a traditional Japanese preparation of beef where they get a little bit of a crust on the outside of the meat, inside completely raw, and they serve it in this like tamari soy, soy, soy. Why can't any of these carnivores or anti-vegans ever complete a consistent what I eat in a day video. Vegan Deterioration recently copied a happy healthy vegan video. Then after two yoga poses and a smoothie, she got tired and she gave up. The same way Frank Defano already is tired of eating raw meat. When are you all going to give this up? How many ways do I have to slice and dice this? How many examples do you need before you get it through your thick heads that this diet is no good? 
I know the carnivores and the vegans love to tease each other and troll each other, but this is serious. Frank DeFano, not to be rude, does not look well to me, and I am concerned. And he has admitted that he wanted to, in fact, quit the carnivore diet by like the end of the year. But then again, he is making videos about like what a carnivore eats in a day, and he's just really pushing and destroying himself. It's kind of just sad to watch. So on that note, I do hope you are all well, taking care of yourselves, staying safe, and I'll see you later in the next video. Bye.